Ronnie, I'm back. I got the Kia car tire fixed. It's back on the car. There is no nail in it. It was right on the curb on the opposite side down there. It went through right here at an angle like this. If you can see, I can't, it's glaring, so it went through this like this. And it was the size of my little finger almost. And, you know, not quite, but yeah, it was like seven inches long. <laughs> and uh, nobody would have patched it. I got it with one of them specialty patches I showed you with the big plug and pulled it through. It took me 20 minutes to get the bead broke off of these guys because it's been so muddy and crummy and everything just, they usually pop. But uh, the car wasn't quite heavy enough the way I do it. Once I figured out, stand on the drum here, <laughs> bounce on it once it's all the way down. Yeah, then I got it to pop. But yeah, I got that done. And then I had to tighten my uh, belt for my alternator because I could hear it squeaking in the morning. Well, that turned into a fiasco because down here is the alternator belt. This guy way down in there. It's still my little... I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there. But the other one was like half of it was left it was all shredded because they're grabbing rocks that fly up and you can get behind the head in all the mud and slop i've been having to drive through with it and it gets out of the pulleys and it eats them up and the rocks and the gravel fly up and the mud and the water and yeah and it, yeah well i had one but yeah you can about imagine you can see what you got to do tear all the other stuff off get them off to replace that one but i'm good I just made a rip from Madison. The tire's up. This is good. And yeah, had to change some antifreeze deals. But now here's a kicker. So I didn't get no welding done on my boat. But you've never seen it. I'm doing a water leak test on my boat right now. This has been setting. If you can see, there's like two inches of water in the bottom here now. It's been setting for two hours. I got the tra trailer all, all totally done now. Okay, so there's the water. There's dry concrete, except for back here, which was uh, the dummy had a fish finder hooked in here, and I took the screws out, and I forgot, so it kind of ran out. And then this is the smashed where the drain plug goes on the inside. I didn't have it adjusted tight enough, but it's kind of, I got to do some rework on that. But after all the bending and twisting, this is all going to get extra aluminum in it and up on the nose. After all the bend and twisting and tweaking, using a tractor and a loader to straighten it. Boy, I don't think OMC that makes these boats, these scouts, I don't think they make them anymore. And that's too damn bad because, boy, did this thing take a twist and a beating. And it's straight. I thought for sure I was going to have water leaks all over. There's not a single one. I said, I'm going to lower the jack down. The only thing that's missing is a wheel jack I'm going to put on it. Not because it's going to be very heavy on the nose, but so I can leave it cocked up like this. You know, and just cover the motor in if it rains when it's outside. So the water runs out. But yeah, not a drip. I was underneath this puppy with a creeper. <coughs> so that's my next deal. I just got to lower it down after I close the hood. Let it sit for an hour, but it is just turned six o'clock. So I'm gonna explain to you. Okay, here's the boat trailer with the boat on it. Okay, I said the original trailer was only this long. Where it's at right there, and it left all that hanging over the back, which is wrong, very wrong. And I found a place going the river. You're gonna know why I got a trailer built like this. That's as tall as this four wheel drive pickup. Because that's where I'm going in the river. I'm going to do my first testing on the boat on the lake with a concrete boat ramp. But I already know where I'm going into the river. Five miles away. Not even quite. <laughs> yeah. You're going to know why I got this trailer built the way I built it. Because that's what this thing is made for. But yeah, I got my winch. It's not hooked up because I ain't got no aluminum welded in for my extra hook. You know, boom, boom, boom. Got all that stuff. That roller. Boom. You know, pull this lever from this side but the sun's glaring if you pull this lever up slide it past here push it back down spring loaded and then you can push the boat back by hand as the weight will be on the back catch just until it tilts up that whole piece right there will go up 
the strap will help hold it, but it will run up on here when it comes up. So that's why I got that roller that'll roll. And my first deck, the long deck. I said I'm going to make them solid once I get the angle and stuff right when I line the bottom with my plastic. There's my 14-inch Ranger Rams 5 bolts instead of little baby 8-inch tires. Blue. The heavy-duty 2x2-inch quarter-inch uh, axle. The uh, every fastener on here is stainless steel. Uh, those rollers were what I did say from the regular trailer. LED lights. These are my plastic fenders made from... Uh, five dollar I gotta show you they're not quite the right shape because I'd never done it before but here's what's left of them one of these which is one of these but it was blue it wasn't black I didn't know if it would work I just grabbed the closest one I cut the inside half here along this seam and this seam all the way around and split in half and they end up just a little bit short but I could have heated them with, if I ever do it again, I, I'm going to rip them off. Don't worry, you see where I go. They're going to be torn off. I'm not spending $100 for a pair of plastic fenders. I got plastic fenders and they're illegal. They're solid. And nothing's going to get in there. But you see, they got that little goofy warp. I could have took a heat gun and, and, and warmed it up right here. And then bent that curve so it matched here. But I'd never done it before. And now I can't because I already painted it. So if I tear one off, I know if I split one of them exactly in half, then I just got to take my heat gun and warm the plastic and then tweak it like that so it has a nice run. But yeah, it's not going to hit, touch nothing. If it does, it ain't going anywhere. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a cough and sneeze at the same time. Yeah, these pivot, you can see, I got... Everything is stay, but they're going to have stops underneath them once I get the angle figured out for the plastic that's going under the boat. This whole boat's going to be lined with uh, styrofoam first to fill in the gaps and then HDPE plastic so I can slide across sand or gravel or whatever and that's, it's not going to hurt the aluminum, okay? It, uh, there you go. But yeah, but there's the setup. And don't worry, I'll make a video when, uh, when I get the welding and stuff done maybe just drop it off a terrace to show you where I can drop it down a bank like this no boat ramps drop it down a six eight foot bank down to the water where I got found it's it's kind of a mellow slope with a lot of about a three foot drop but it's a secret place so but yeah you gotta pretty much have a four wheel drive or at least good but whopping tires it's gotta be dry to get in there but yeah there you go there's my setup. The boat trailer is finito finished. Now we get back after the boat. And then once I got the boat all braced up, welded up, plastic on it, then we go to the Chinese slash Thai 13 horsepower straight out the back long tail where I should be able to run three inches of water once I'm on plane which should be about 12 mile an hour, but I should be able to run close to 25 if I get everything right with that 13 horse. But yeah, I'm plugging along, and there you go. It's awesome. Oh yeah, I got bearing buddies and everything. In case I do got to get it in the water, they're full of grease. I said those are different hubs. It's, yeah, it's total. What was I had of that trailer was all bent and twisted from the tree falling on all of this and just took it all out. But yeah, it was... This is all going to make sense when I get it all done. And then maybe I'll give it a paint job. Or I was thinking about just finding a super high pressure power washer with a daisy cutter and strip all the paint and stuff off down to bare aluminum and just make it aluminum. Uh, I'm not going hunting. And fish don't care what color it is. <laughs> I'm not going to be duck hunting camo. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might make it some goofy freaking color, but I'd have to blast all the paint off and use etching primer to stick to this that's why they just dip the whole boat in some kind of etching primer paint together and you see what happens all comes off but yeah i am so happy 
there are no major leaks. I said, this thing, I had a tractor and loader. I go, watch my other videos. I watched my other videos I made with the loader bucket holding this down and twisting everything and banning everything and pry oh. And it's not leaking. That is one good quality aluminum boat. I've seen that uh, JT Gator's got aluminum craft. It's like not even two years old. Never been beat just on plain water with a long tail. And he had rivets popping out and leaking and all kinds of shit already. This is a 1999 boat. And it's been beat to death. Plus a big tree fell on it in the trailer. Still ain't leaking. But I don't think they make them anymore. See, that's what happens. You get good quality stuff, somebody runs them out. Yeah, that's just the way it works. But yeah, there it is. My 55-gallon plastic drum fenders instead of $100 because going through tree branches and weeds on the narrow trails through down the river, you know these are going to get caught. Yeah. But yeah, there you go. Okay, now I am going to... I said I'll have a big hook under here. This is all getting reinforced so I can hang it down a drop of at least 10 or 15 feet with all the way to the boat, which should be max 600 pounds without bending the front. Extended strap. Yeah, if I want to drop down a bank. <laughs> and there's a little sandbar there and drop her down and get her in the water. Depends what river I'm going to. I'm going to go to a bunch of them once I get all the bugs out. I got plenty of them around here, even some creeks. Start at the beginning and see how far I can go up, like the Union Creek or the North Fork of the Elkhorn River, till I get blocked by trees that are down across it. It's going to work. All right, I'm going to lower this down on that jack stand so the water runs up to here, but there's not a drop of water leaking anywhere. Wow, that is one heavy-duty... Not the thickest aluminum, but man, that is one solid built boat. Scout, made by OMC back in 99. That's who still made Johnson outboards. Uh, they got bought out by somebody else, and yeah, I'm sure they're all shit now. You can't buy a Johnson anymore. Right? That's when they made quality, dude. Because this thing, <laughs> I was twisting this thing at a 45 degree angle with that jack and a loader holding it down. Not a leak in a rivet. Engineer it, make it strong. Ah, they run you out. There you go. All right, we're all good. I'm going to go uh, grill some chicken and hang out on a deck for a little bit in the shade. It's Yeah, it was going to get 73. It's 79 in the shade and hot right here. But I'm happy, so it's all good. Next thing to do after I make sure the front ain't leaking is get to doing some reinforcing welding brazing aluminum on here and any places I've seen that were getting worn and things and reinforcing some spots like this where it got bashed and even that all out and then we'll get to line the bottom with styrofoam and you don't know why but I will explain later uh, not regular styrofoam the that pink Owens Corning fiberglass pink styrofoam insulation Going on the bottom and then quarter inch HDPE plastic bolted through. Yeah, I'm going to put a bunch of holes in it now. It don't leak. Don't worry, I'll get it right. Woohoo! There you go. Slow but sure. And then I'm not going to rush anything. And it was rainy and cold and I didn't really feel well yesterday. And then the car, I had to do stuff. But there it is. My design, 51 hours in that trailer from tear down to finish with nothing on paper and just building it in my mind as I went. And it came out really nice. It's going to work perfect for what I got to do. If I can go where I want to go, I can go anywhere in the United States to any lake or any river and get in and out of it. Not a problem. The boat's going to be the same way. It's getting heavy duty. If I can go where I want to go, I can run any other lake or river anywhere in the U.S. Except, you know, with the big giant rocks where you got to have the super half-inch ship with a jet boat. But, you know, I'll go fishing or whatever I want to do. River running, whatever I want to do with it. I'll be able to do it. Not a problem. All right. Peace. Love. Have a heart. Have a heart. Think it. Believe it. Don't listen to naysayers. You get an idea, try it. It might work. 
it might work. I only had a couple little redos I had to do on this trailer. Uh, you know, because I kept re-engineering. You can never over-engineer something that's never been done before. I don't care what anybody says. You can never overthink it. Just think, think, because I spotted where this... I, I cut this at a 45, but now I tilt that up behind the pickup, and it has four inches of room instead of a half inch. All I had to do, but an extra two inches right up here, it would have never had to do that. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But, wow, I'm really happy how it turned out. Now we're going to get after that boat. If I have as much time in this boat and my long tail whole setup... If I got another 100 hours in it and it comes out this good with just that many minute small problems because I keep thinking, my brain never shuts off. I will be happy. It's good, man. Be you. Be who you are. Don't hurt anybody else, but don't take the crap. And take it and stuff it right up the naysayers and the haters' butts. And then when you prove them wrong after they've been telling you you're an idiot and this ain't going to work, then like I said, just give them a little bunny ears reversed minus one. Give them the reverse bunny ears minus one and go, sayonara hater, snowflake idiot. Don't tell me I can't be who I am, even though you're one of the masses. You don't mean squat. You're the nobody. But be kind about it. There you go, man. Love you. Mwah! I will get back to you. I'm going to try to get after some more of this this week, four-day week. It's going to be in the 90s by Friday around here. Today it's 77. Yesterday it was 52. Yee Yeehaw. Welcome to Nebraska. I love you, man. Be who you are. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do what you dream and see. You know, at least try it. I've had some experience in engineering and building other things. I've never done one of these trailers like that. Wow, I'm very proud of it. There you go. And fixing the boat, everybody told me, that's yeah, going to leak like a sieve. Oh. I said, well, I'll have to weld it all shut. It's not leaking. I said, yeah, if it's built right in a good quality boat, it's made to take twisting and tweaking just like an airplane. There you go. All right, man. <laughs> And uh, don't forget all the fallen heroes here on Memorial Day that gave their lives since 1776 and before to make this wonderful country, the United States of America. And it's still free, but less and less now. You know what I mean. We got to fight for our country. It's made for freedom, not socialist and communism and Canada style. Or It's meant to be United States of America only. Land of the free. Number one. Home of the brave. There you go. Love you all. And God bless all you fallen heroes that, that fought to keep this country and gave your lives. I know you from the other side. You're all cool as hell. <laughs> they love to talk. When I'm on the other side, you and you, oh, yeah, you wouldn't believe how many there are. Once you go to the other side, and actually you get to see a few of them, and thousands and thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands that fought for our freedom, right here. Don't let that go to waste. All right, show the dead, but the living on the other side. Show them respect because they can see you. All right, I love y'all. Take care. I'll be back, I promise. Ciao!